Welcome back, everybody, to Manic Miners. Uh, just so you guys know, if you guys want a crew member to join our motley crew, let me know down in the comments below. I will accommodate as many requests as I can within... There's just some characters I'm not able to effectively make. And I will be completely honest if I can't. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, with that... A breath of fresh air. We uh, finished a breath of fresh air. <coughs> Excuse me. Rubble trouble. And rubble trouble next. A new cavern has been found, but the area is very unstable. The cavern floor is covered with fallen rocks and boulders. We must establish Rock Raider HQ and begin our mining operation. But first, we must reinforce the walls and clear the debris from the floor. Once the cavern is secure, continue our mining operation by collecting five energy crystals. 42 energy crystals. Got it. Now, I'm curious, what are the obje- Okay, so in the uh, remastered campaign, we actually have to reinforce and clear all the rubble. Here it looks like uh, they're going to be just a little bit more generous for us and only have us uh, just find the energy crystals that we need to find. Which I am perfectly okay with. Interesting. So that landslide hurt the Rock Raider. Here, was that I really don't want to be here right now? Nope, that was Wallbanger. Hurt Wallbanger. So when the Rock Raiders grab their tools, they must actually be in this tile when they do it. Interesting. I like that. Finding out just cool little things like that. Alright, now let's just clear everything. I don't want any rubble. I don't want any rubble on the ground. Look at my beautiful Rock Raiders go. I don't... Whoa, that was a cool interaction. Did you hear that? It said the tool store and then the Rock Raiders... Don't call me a tool. That's awesome. What a cool interaction. I have never heard that yet. It does my heart good to see that there is, like, cool little interactions like that in the game. All right, lots to do, lots to drill. There is no shortage. There is no shortage of work here for anyone. An energy crystal has been found. Good, good. We need lots more energy crystals. We need a great multitude An more. To set up a forward tool station over here. An energy crystal has been found. An energy crystal has been found. Ooh, great deal of energy crystals being found. You love to see it. Uh, yeah, that's cool. You dig that. You drill that. Ten Rock Raiders really isn't enough Rock Raiders, but I really also don't really want to set up, like, the infrastructure to bring down more. Because I'm lazy like that, even though I'm not the one who's setting up the infrastructure. The Rock Raiders are. I have to get back to you on how my laziness works, because I don't fully understand it. An energy crystal has been found. You know what? Bringing down another 10 energy rock raiders really isn't going to hurt anything. Alright. Uh, no. Dig that. Dig that. Dig that. I want rubble clear, damn it! Ooh, it looks like we're going to open up something really interesting over here. A 
teleport pad. An energy crystal has been found. Oh. An energy crystal there we go. Has been Good job, guys. Way to not screw up. I appreciate that. Yeah. And again, my lazy... Again, I don't know how my laziness works. Like, I guess I am going to set up this base now just so I can bring down more rock raiders. I, I don't know how my brain works. Don't judge me. Agreed. You're just old, my dude. I'm talking about getting old, like... I know I'm not exactly a spry chicken, but I'm also not that old either. And now I wake up with, like, random pains. And, like, since I started running, I don't know if my shoes have kind of gone bad, but now I wake up with, like, pain in my left, like, heel, like I bruised something. Like, it's very, it's very strange. I don't understand how my body works. Send help. You know, if you're also like a a old young person and you wake up with random aches and pains, let me know them in the comment below and we can all bitch about getting old together. Although my grandfather, who is 95 years old, bless his heart, he tells me, you know, he will never complain about getting old because so many are denied the privilege. And I think that is beautifully profound, so I'm not going to complain about getting old. However, if you guys want to complain about getting old in the comments down below... I will complain, I will complain with you, out of solidarity. You know how uh, Spongebob gave Patrick the ugly? Well, Father Time gave me the old. Give me another crew, please. There's much milling to be- drilling. There's much drilling to be done. Who is that, uh... Cryo Drake? Yeah, Cryo Drake. Some of the new Rock Raiders are filtering in slowly but surely. I need 42 energy crystals. 42. There's just something about that number. Yes, that was a League reference for anybody who plays Hermadinger. An energy crystal has been I do found. play League, but only Arams. I'm not proud of it, but I do play it. Okay, I'm looking at... I guess we need a tunnel transport. got in. Uh, I can't tell who that is. Oh, wait a second. That's Wallbanger, but hang on. I need to see something here. Get out. Interesting. So when a Rock Raider, if a Rock Raider has a helmet where the where a visor goes down, it stays up when they're, like, not in a vehicle. Or if they're carrying or it looks like. So if they're carrying something or in a vehicle, the visor is down. But if they get into a vehicle, the visor... Wait, if they're carrying something... If they're not carrying something, the visor stays up. If they're in a vehicle or carrying something, the visor goes down. There's something new every day. Oh, right, another 10. Let's go, guys. There's more drilling to be had. An energy crystal has been found. An energy crystal has been That's found. really cool with the visor thing. I like that. I like that a lot. It, you see, it's little touches like that in games that really show how much developers developers care about the product that they're making. I, for one, really appreciate that. I think that's cute. I think that's actually really cute. I like that. Well done. 
Somebody new get in here. Who's that? Oh, uh, Trizan the Infinite getting the uh, getting the tunnel scout. Learn how to drive, damn it. Learn how to fly. Learn how to fly, damn it. Oh, there goes Chef Gordon Ramsay running for his life. Good job, Chef. And Maverick from Top Gun. Good job, good job. I think that should really be the last of the energy crystals that I need. I don't really see any more drillable walls. That that should be it. Uh, why don't you hop out? Unit teleported safely. An energy crystal has been found. I mean, that better be it. Oh wait, nope. I see another. I see an explodable wall, but not a drillable wall. That's a lot of energy crystals right there. If we need more, I'm gonna be very, very surprised. Like this level is not the physical size of this level is not huge. Took us a while to get here, but it, this is not a physically large level. It is not a large lad. It's an average lad. How many do I need? I need 42. <laughs> Answers that question. The cavern was secured and all five energy crystals were collected. Good work. Mission complete. Well, that was nice. That was nice. The path to power. You know what? Let's make it a twofer. The path to path power. To Okay, Rock Raider, we must begin the construction of Rock Raider HQ. We need a power station. Upgrade the tool store and build a section of power path next to it. Next, construct the teleport pad and upgrade it. Build another section of power path next to the teleport pad. When you've collected enough energy crystals and all, construct the power station. Be very careful, Rock Raider. The walls of the cavern are unstable and may need reinforcing. So, collect enough energy crystals in ore, construct a power station, support station, and geological center. Taking a look here at our objectives, power station, support station, geological center, all well and good. Get going, guys. There's work to be done. Which, which character are you? That's Geode, right? That's Geode. Followed by Wallbanger. Codsworth, our OSHA inspector. Uh, Captain Ahab, Joshua Abrams, very good to see you. Frank, my dude, it's amazing I know these Rock Raiders by name. Uh, Rick Astley, always a pleasure to see Rick Astley. I'm never going to give up on Rick Astley, because he would never give up on me. And I think that's beautiful. I didn't realize that that would also landslide. That's no good. Blow that up. Blow that up. Drill everything! Ooh, that did a little more damage to the tool store than I was expecting. Oh, but I've got Rock Raiders trained as engineers, so it doesn't matter. Just a little damage done. Just a mild amount of damage done. No problem. That's why the good lord gave us engineers. Uh-oh. Damn it! Engineering my limit! That's fine. That's fine. Everything is well and good. I am perfectly calm. I just realized you could softlock this game. By using up all of your ore and not having enough to upgrade your... You can softlock this level by blowing up your teleport, by blowing up your tool store, and not having any way of drilling the hard rock. So if your teleport station goes up, and you teleport it back down, and you don't have enough ore, 10 ore, to get it to level 3, and there's only 
hard rock, and you've got no way to drill that other than dynamite, which is what you need level 3 tool store to train people to use dynamite. Or to even have the option to do dynamite. Like right now, I can't even do dynamite until I upgrade this to level 3, and then I can dynamite. You can softlock this level. I just figured out how to break the game. God, I'm good at what I do. I hate being good at what I do. Well, anyways, that's enough profound thoughts for one day. If I think too much, I'll my brain will leak out of my head. A new cavern has been discovered. Our treasure. Nice job, fellas. Way to find that other cavern. That's what we needed. A landslide has occurred. Oh yeah, probably should reinforce all that. Oh, you okay, buddy? Geo, you good? You good, man? I know what to do. Who are you? Oh, that's Captain Creepy. I haven't seen him in a hot second. Looking good, my dude. What was it? The guy who the guy who I designed Frank off of, or the guy who Frank is this supposed to be designed off of? He commented on an episode a while ago. I thought that was, and I thought that was awesome. I didn't know Frank was a real person, and then this guy going by Frank just comments like, uh, "The dude like playing Frank just, or the dude who's actually Frank in real life like commented on a video. I'm like, holy shit, Frank lives. That's awesome. I'm just building a guy named Frank. I mean, I, I guess it seemed a little too deliberate to not be a real person, but." That was one of the coolest little moments for me in, like, all of my, I guess you can call this a YouTube career. But that, that for me, was one of the coolest little moments of my YouTube career. I mean, I, I used to say I don't make money out of this. Now I make, like, minimal money, maybe, like, 12 bucks, 12 to 13 bucks a month in ad revenue, which is perfect. It's, like, just enough to pay for my, uh, to pay, pay for my, uh, video editing subscription. I would love one day to make enough money off of YouTube, not to make a living off of YouTube, but basically just to like afford like like a year's worth of YouTube revenue can buy me like enough to like get a new graphics card or get a new CPU for to basically maintain upgrades for my computer. I think that would be the dream. Like I never want to be at a point or I don't think I'd want to be at a, it would be cool to make a money to make a living off of YouTube, but I wouldn't want to be beholden to YouTube. I would want like because I, I, like, the public can be kind of fickle about things, I don't think I would ever want to be beholden to... Actually, no, that's not fair. I think that... Ooh, that's, a, that's actually kind of an interesting stance here that I might have. So I think it would be cool to be able to make a living off of YouTube, but I don't know if I would... But I feel like I would hate doing YouTube if I were to make a living off of it. Plus, uh, being beholden to the YouTube... Uh, being beholden to the YouTube... Um, Algorithm scares me because I still don't totally know how the algorithm works. I I have a better idea than I did last year, the year before, or even eight years ago when I eight years ago in 2015 when I started. But I wouldn't want to be beholden to the YouTube algorithm. And I guess working, doing, making content for the public that doesn't bother me as much. I know the public can be fickle on occasion, but you know. I feel like the biggest problem people have is they voice opinions on the internet. Like, nobody cares. I guess I'm voicing opinions on the internet right now. Crap, I'm a hypocrite. Oh, well. Long story short, it'd be cool to just make enough money off of YouTube ad revenue that I can, like, pay for, like, upgrades for my computer and my uh, software subscription. That would be sweet. Otherwise, I don't really care. I do this more for the... I do this more for fun anyways, to justify my video game addiction, more so than anything. Oh yeah, let's uh, queue up the uh, geological center as well, in case I find another energy crystal, a few more energy crystals. Oh, he said the line. By an addition to my collection. What's up? What's up?
And that'll be another set of rock readers I can bring down if he puts that in the support station where he's supposed to. Yep, good job, Matt Smith from Doctor Who. Got a little fez on his hat. Bring down my next generation of rock raiders, please. We got Samus Metroid, Chad the Gentleman Spy. Who else we got here? Uh, is that Captain Ahab? Which one are you? Ah, that's Skipper Gilligan, of course. I don't recognize you, sir. That's Maverick. Maverick Top Gun. Oh, it's the Half-Life security guard. Uh, Trizan the Infinite, good to see you. You are... Oh, that's Cryo Drake. No, that's Cryo Drake. Oh, that's Chef Gordon Ramsay. Who are you again? You're a new guy. Imposter, because I he's the opposite color of... No, he's designed to be a... Not a rock raider, it's a... Uh, oh, it was another mod back in the day. It was like another overhaul or another mod. I can't think of... I can't think of what the mod is now. It doesn't matter. It was some other miner. It's in a comment. It's It was like another mining overhaul for the game that was a while ago. Like the base game. You could just get like different colored... Uh, or different, uh, not colored, probably isn't the right word. You could get different, um, different textured, uh, miners. Power miners, I think is what they were. Like, that's the color scheme for the power miners, I think is, yeah, I think that's what they were. Okay, I need three more energy crystals. Where are they? I'm gonna build a forward tool station here, just in case. Has been Forward tool station, maybe not necessary. I'm going to build it anyways, because now I'm committed. Get to work, guys. I'm just going to put power paths in this corridor so that the rock raiders run faster for no other reason than the aesthetic of it. just because I think it'll be fun. No other reason. An energy crystal touch there we go. An energy crystal touch and found. There we go. Drill that. I want to see if this will, like, circle back into the, uh, behind my power station. Oh, nope, sorry. An energy crystal touch and found. Will it? Oh, it might. No, it might not. Oh, it did. How convenient. How fortuitous. All kinds of energy crystals back here. Very nice. Well, I guess we win this level too. There you go. A twofer. You're welcome. Good work. You successfully constructed that power station. Mission complete. And that was Path to Power and Rubble Trouble. When we come back and next breath time... Breathless. Breathless. Uh, thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. <laughs>